some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Michigan where a softard gets exposed in more ways than one as he attempts to use his well, very much flawed, soft, hard logic in the court and ends up getting shut down in this pre-trial arraignment. I mean, he doesn't really get much of a chance to express his full soft tartary. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this moron try to make a complete fool out of himself but fall completely flat on his face. Sir, speak loudly. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Calling I... case number 2401173SM. This is the people of the state of Michigan versus Len Derek Tyler Stringer. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Softard Stringer. Uh, I can also see that you've got the. A uh, state of the art uh, toilet sink combo that you find in all the good jails these days, which is a wonderful metaphor uh, for your whole life. Nothing but one big jailhouse toilet. Uh, Mr. Angott, do you wish to place an appearance on the record? Judge John Angott, I'm here um, as appointed counsel for Mr. Stringer regarding this arraignment. However, Mr. Stringer does not acknowledge or consent to this hearing. Is that correct, Mr. Stringer? I do not identify. I identify as the beneficiary that is here to protect the Derek Stringer. Ah, uh, yes, this typical Savtard language. I am not the person you're looking for. Uh, the person you're looking for is a dead corporate entity. That's who you want. Uh, it's a shame that that Savtard Jedi mind trick really doesn't work in a court system, dude. You might want to try something uh, a bit more off the wall. Like, actually learning the law? No, 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 no. That would just make too much sense for you uh, knuckleheads. Very well, Mr. Stringer. The court is going to read the charge into the record since the formal reading is not waived. Mr. Stringer, it is charged by the people of the state of Michigan that <laughs> In this city, Royal Oak, County of Oakland, and State of Michigan, on or about June 16th of 2024, you did knowingly make an open or indecent exposure of your person while fondling your genitals in a public area, contrary to the statute so made and provided at Michigan Compile Law 750.335A, subparent 2, subparent B. The court advises you that this is referred to as a Tier 1 offense under the Sex Offender Registry Act. If the victim is a minor, it is a Tier 2 offense. If you have a prior conviction for a Tier 1 offense, it is a Tier 3 offense. If you have a prior conviction for a Tier 2 offense, this is a high misdemeanor punishable by up to two years in the state prison and up to $2,000, also a mandatory collection of DNA identifying profiling samples. There is a count two misdemeanor in that on the same date, you did knowingly make an open or indecent exposure of your person, contrary to the statute so made and provided at Michigan Compile Law 750.335A, subparent two, subparent A, commonly known as indecent exposure. At this time, the court enters not guilty pleas on both of these matters so that Mr. Stringer's presumption of innocence under the constitutions of Michigan and the United States are preserved. Ah, uh, yes, this typical Savtard language. I am not the person you're looking for. Uh, the person you're looking for is a dead corporate entity. That's who you want. Uh, it's a shame that that Savtard Jedi mind trick really doesn't work in a court system, dude. You might want to try something uh, a bit more off the wall. Like, actually learning the law? No, 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 no. That would just make too much sense for you uh, knuckleheads.
sir. Excuse me, sir. You have not talked to my beneficiary yet. You have not talked to the person who owns the estate yet. Oh, great. We got a case of a uh, disassociative identity disorder at this point. I mean, one guy is the, the authorized representative. The other guy is the beneficiary. Would the real uh, stringer please step forward at this point? Oh, wait. There he is. You're the one sitting in the chair at this point. You're the authorized representative and the beneficiary, all wrapped into one nice, neat little package. They could talk to you. Mr. Angat, um, the court is making a notation of court appointed counsel to run through the IDSO office, and that new counsel, as appointed by Mr. Mena, can make whatever judgments they wish to make and make any motions they wish to make at Mr. Stringer's first probable cause conference. Mr. Stringer, this matter is now being set for a probable cause conference. That will be on a new date. The law entitles you to what they refer to as a preliminary examination within 21 days of this arraignment today. If probable cause is either found or waived at that preliminary examination, this uh, the, the matter will be bound over to the Oakland County Circuit Court for further arraignment, trial, and proceedings. The court must now set bond in this manner. That it's not intended to prejudge or punish you. You are presumed innocent, Mr. Stringer. However, the court must set bond in order to ensure your reappearance to court and afford any necessary protection for the public. In that regard, um, the court would first hear from Detective Keith Baringa of the Royal Police Department. Then the court would hear from your attorney, Mr. Stringer. Detective Baringa, please proceed. Thank you. Um, Personal bond. in this matter in GPS Seller to uh, ensure his appearance at court. He currently has two warrants out of the state of Texas for assault and um, also uh, in assault with injury to family violence. Oh, uh, uh, yes. He's already got a history of uh, violence on his uh, record. Uh, go figure. I mean, I guess he figures this. Uh, Sovereign citizen BS will get him off scot free, but you know, you would definitely do better if you actually got a real attorney to help you out. But you know, it's your life. If you want to screw it up more, that's your decision. Uh, out of Texas, he also has a lengthy criminal history out of Texas, going from his recent of these warrants, which were entered last year, back to around 2015, uh, receiving charges for evading arrest and detention. Uh, unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon, uh, assault, family, and house member impeding breath or circulation, uh, several other assault charges, weapons charge, and then also like falsifying uh, information or government documents. I'm not sure if that's just like a generic false ID case or not, but uh, multiple felons out of Texas. Uh, I'm not sure how long he's been in Michigan. He has no current. Um, Cases out of Michigan that I'm aware of. His criminal history, he has uh, assaults from 2019 out of Marco Woods, which looks like it was the third of as uh, assaulting a public officer or obstructing uh, where he got uh, served nine days ago. And that is it out of Michigan. Wow, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, you sound like a real career criminal right there. So, yeah, I stand by what I said earlier that uh, perhaps you found this uh, sovereign citizen garbage an easy way to get out of your crimes. Well, I'm sure that's what he thought would be the case, but reality would say something different considering the majority of sovtards end up getting uh, put in uh, jail for their issues because well so being a sovtard really doesn't pay anything further i would also ask that he not be allowed to return to any uh public or private pools in the city of royal Oaks or parks grass areas adjacent to the Thank you very much. Mr. Anga. Judge, as noted by the court, the presumption of innocence is absolute at this point. And so we must start from there. Mr. Stringer or the person uh, purporting to represent Mr. Stringer is a business owner. Um, judge, 
despite the fact of these charges and what was listed by the detective, I believe that with the GPS tether, that certainly would give this court, pretrial services, and other any other entity overseeing Mr. Stringer during the pendency of this matter, uh, notice of where he would be within three feet, is my understanding, with that tether. I don't think a cash bond is necessary. I would ask the court to give him a personal bond with the GPS tether. Thank you very much. The following conditions will apply to Mr. Stringer's release. Mr. Stringer will appear for all his future dates as directed. He will abide any valid order or judgment entered in this case. Mr. Stringer, you will not leave the state of Michigan without permission of the court. Please don't commit any crimes while you're on release status. You will notify the court in writing of any change of address, telephone, or email. Mr. Stringer will be making reports to pretrial services and they will supervise his release. There will be no use of alcohol, marijuana, or any other controlled substance without a valid prescription from a treating physician. And Mr. Stringer will abide a substance abuse testing and monitoring program. No purchase or possession of a firearm or other deadly weapon. Mr. Stringer shall not harass, intimidate, beat, wound, or threaten Linda Marino and Chad Stransky, nor will he cause through himself or through any third party to have direct or indirect contact with said individuals. Mr. Stringer will not enter the cities of Royal Oak or Berkeley, except for court, work, or medical treatment. No release without a GPS tether with appropriate alerts. For the victims in this case, as well as the location. Which is in fact, 2024 Wickham, correct detective? Thank you. Uh, and at this time, um, there will be two ETGs per week for control uh, alcohol consumption and three controlled substance tests a month. Given everything that's before the court at this time, the court will set bond in the amount of $50,000 cash or surety, no 10% allowed at this time. If Mr. Stringer wishes to bring various motions before the examining judge, and that could include a motion to modify his bond. That is his right and his privilege. But at this time, that is the bond as set by this court. Mr. Stringer, that concludes your arraignment, sir. Sir, so I don't have, I can't, I can't get out on a personal bond? That's correct, Mr. Stringer. You cannot get out on a personal bond. 50,000 cash or surety with the appropriate conditions that were already listed by the court. That completes your arraignment, sir. Sir, so what, what, what is going on? With the, with the, with the, with the, with the, I'm sorry, sir. I'm being charged. I'm charged entity Can you please move up so the court could hear you? I said, how do you charge a dead entity, sir? I'm sorry, say that again? How do you charge a dead entity, sir? And it just, you it, it, just, it just happened right before your eyes. The so court has the, jurisdiction sir. over you, sir. Oh. Venue and jurisdiction have been established. By sworn testimony. That completes your arraignment. Good luck to you. How do you charge a dead entity? Uh, dude, you need to pull your head out of your ass and understand that this uh, soft, hard uh, gibberish really doesn't work in a court of law. This dead corporate self and living self is just a bunch of uh, metaphysical garbage that you soft hards like to spew out, which really has no meaning in the courts whatsoever. I mean, they don't base upon your convictions upon 
whether or not you're a corporation or not. They base it on the tangible facts of the case, not the metaphysical bullshit. So in short, good luck with your trial, dude, because you're really going to need it if you have that much of a criminal record and you're trying to use this soft hard uh, mumbo jumbo metaphysical garbage to uh, get yourself uh, out of any charges because you know the prosecutor will definitely tear you apart on all these uh, arguments in court. I mean, it's a guaranteed event. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. It. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not... Blah 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 You suck! They think they know it all! What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fucking leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the supposed speed limit. Oh, no, I didn't tell it, you that. Yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. 35. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hi, how are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Yeah, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.